This video is brought to you by Helix Sleep. Today, I have another Lost Media case for you. This one caught my attention not just because it's a good song, but also because it takes us back to a website that was key in popularizing the most mysterious song on the internet, that being spiritofradio.ca. This one was posted by Peter in August of 2014, and we have this 30 second clip. This song's got a very freestyle kind of vibe, and I love freestyle. My playlists are full of it, and if you hand me the aux cord during a party, I'm very likely to put on cover girls or something like that. So you know I gotta find out who made this song so I can find the rest of their music. So for this episode of Tales from the Internet, let's take a look at what we know about this song so far. This video was sponsored by Helix. Helix is a premium mattress in a box company that makes mattresses designed to fit your unique needs and preferences based on your body type and sleep style. I've been sleeping on my Helix for about half a year now, and it's some of the best consistent sleep I have had. The neck pain I had been experiencing went away pretty quickly, and it's yet to return. The first thing you do is go to their website and take the sleep quiz. Personally, I like a soft mattress, and I'm a side sleeper, so Helix determined that their Sunset mattress was the best option for me. Once Helix matches you up with the right mattress, it's delivered right to your door for free in the US. Comes rolled up in a box, and it's super easy to set up yourself and you get a 100 night sleep trial to see if Helix is right for you. That's more than three months. And if you don't like the mattress, they'll pick it up right from your door and issue a full refund. And if you do like it, each mattress has a 10 year warranty. Just click the link below or go to helixsleep.com slash wang. You'll get up to $200 off your Helix Sleep mattress as well as two free pillows. Today we're talking about an unidentified song that's been tentatively labeled Fond My Mind based on what one of the lines in the song sounds like. Although the song's been floating around for quite some time, the search for it has gained some steam the past few months. The earliest post on Reddit that I saw about it was created by No No Seacrest on r slash Lost Wave back in December of 2019. 80s slash 90s song, Nowhere to Run, Red Sector 1. This post links to the 2014 Spirit of Radio post, and this one calls it Nowhere to Run based on the first line that's said in this clip. The lead of this song potentially being by the band Red Sector 1 comes from a comment posted by Corey on the Spirit of Radio post. So, Red Sector 1 was a Canadian band that formed in 1991, and was active up until 1999. Let's compare their music to this clip of the song Fond My Mind. Assuming that this was recorded in the early 90s, I think their first album, World Peace from 1992, is the way to go. So, this band, Red Sector 1, to me sounds awesome, but at the same time, I really don't hear the comparison at all. As I said at the beginning, the freestyle vibe to me is very apparent in the clip, and when I listen to Red Sector 1, I'm hearing almost kind of a more industrial vibe. Just overall completely incompatible with the clip that we're looking for. And if we go later in their catalog... It gets more upbeat, but still a different sort of vibe from what we're looking for. In his post, Nono Seacrest noted that he was attempting to contact the band through their Facebook page. And ultimately, in the Discord for the most mysterious song on the internet, he would comment that he did manage to contact them through their SoundCloud. He spoke to a member of the band, Mike Davis, and Mike Davis confirmed that this is in fact, not their song. Mike would also indicate that his current projects are Nasty Little Green Man and Surrounded by Spiders, in case you want to check those out. A Redditor named Game Monkey Dev made a few threads looking for the song, which would yield some suggestions like Annie Lennox, New Order, Depeche Mode, which once again don't really have the right vibe to me. 
And of course, they're so popular that there's no way that this would just be unidentified if it was one of their songs. It's the same problem that comes up with the most mysterious song on the internet a lot. I think a lot of people aren't particularly familiar with all the different subgenres of old music, so they just kind of want to put it all under this old music umbrella, just the, the genre of old. But at this point, there really wasn't much to go off of other than people just shooting suggestions into the dark. However, a lot more clues were found when it was realized that Peter, who had posted the song Spirit of Radio, was not the first person to post this online. In fact, someone else had uploaded the song to What That Song, a website dedicated to identifying music, a year earlier in 2013. This user's name was Gsip Koi. Other accounts with the same name would be found, including a Last.fm account that had scrabbled similar music, implying that it was likely the same guy. And as Jay, a user who had popularized the search for this particular song, noted in the Mysterious Song Discord, since What's a Song has a clip cutoff of 30 seconds, and the Spirit of Radio clip was also 30 seconds. At this point, we only had 30 seconds of the song, and the clip cutoff for What's That Song is 30 seconds. Meaning that Jisup Koi most likely had only cut it to 30 seconds to reach the time limit and had the entire song. A few attempts to contact Jisup Koi were made through the various accounts with no response, but eventually he would respond to Glups. Hi, I got a reply from Gabber, Jisup Koi. Thanks for your message. Yes, I'm the same person who posted that song on What's That Song many years ago. I'm happy to know that there are other people interested in it, but unfortunately, I still have no further information about this song, Frowny Face. I recorded the song somewhere around 1991 or 1992 on a cassette tape. About 10 years ago, I converted all my old cassette tapes to MP3, and that's when I decided to try to identify this song, but I had not succeeded yet. Frowny Face. Best regards, Gabber. Gabber would eventually join the Discord and share some more information. Oh, and he would also share the entire 3 minute and 12 second recording. I'm not going to play the whole song for you, but here are some of the key moments that we hadn't heard previously. Now, I'm not the only person to have made this observation, but for some reason, this intro to me just, it sounds strangely Indian. Like, the like the vocals do not sound Indian to me at all, but there's just, just something about this that gives me like a Benny Lava kind of vibe. <laughs> And this right here, I feel like I've heard a variation of this solo in so many different freestyle songs. Anyway, if you want to listen to the full track, it's uploaded to JK's YouTube channel, along with a lot of other unidentified tracks. Gabber noted that the recording was made from a radio station in Brazil named Transamerica. And like the most mysterious song on the internet, this too was part of a mixtape that he had made. When he looked back at the tape, he had noticed that the earliest song on it was Duran Duran's Ordinary World, which was released in December of 1992. This means that contrary to what he had thought at first, this tape was most likely recorded in 1993. He also noted that this song was played on the radio a number of times. He even showed it to family members from Brazil who also remembered hearing this on the radio. And I had also noticed other Brazilians on Reddit saying that they had heard this song on the radio. But that being said, despite this band being played on the radio in Brazil, it's very likely that the band themselves are not from Brazil. He noted that this song was unlike a lot of the music he had heard from Brazil at the time, and this particular radio station was known for playing American and European hits. And several people also noted that the singer of this song doesn't sound like a native English speaker. A lot of people are convinced that the singer is either Italian or French. And to that point, Alan SM, a Brazilian user of the Discord server, gave some context for music in Brazil at the time. I'm Brazilian, so to give a bit of perspective from what I remember from the time I was a kid then, Eurodance was very popular at the time. 
In southern Brazil where I live, pretty much all the kids I knew listened to it. The artists being played on the radio were mostly Italian or German, but there were a few local artists as well. Freestyle was a big thing in Rio, they called it funk, but it wasn't popular here. If this song was made by a local artist, it would be natural to combine elements of freestyle and Eurodance. Another thing which might be helpful, at the time it was very common for smaller record companies to release compilations of Eurodance songs, comprised of a few popular songs and many unknowns. They would partner with popular radio stations and name the compilations after them. For example, something like, the hottest songs from radio whatever. It could be that this song was on a compilation like that. He had also noted that Italian music in particular was very popular with Brazilian DJs at the time. To which a user Silver Ryzen added that Italians at the time were churning out such a sheer mass of dance music that the odds are good that this could be a lost Italo track. Meanwhile, Gabber did actually manage to contact Transamerica. None of the DJs who would have been around then were still working for them, but they did direct him to a list of popular songs from each year. This song, however, was not among any of the lists. And in the comments of JK's YouTube upload, another potential lead was raised. This one from a commenter named Randolph who had mentioned he had heard the song too, but on Danish radio. So I might be completely wrong and confusing this for another song of course, but I'm pretty sure this song used to play on the Danish radio station The Voice in the mid 90s, and that a sample of it was used in like one of those radio advertising stingers way into the aughts. The Voice had some kind of connection to Bulgaria and later opened a radio station there. A user named Maximus Vergara found an uploaded broadcast from The Voice and it definitely sounds like a station that would have played this sort of music. Unfortunately, this particular track was not in the uploaded broadcast. So right now we got a bunch of clues but no real solid leads. Some artists and compilations have been looked into, but nothing's really turned up anything. My hope with this video is that, like a lot of the recent lost media cases that have been solved by viewers of the channel, that it just reaches a large enough audience that someone happens to just know it. And I've noticed that looking at the demographic information for my channel, one of the top countries that watches me is actually Brazil. So there actually is a pretty good chance that one of you watching has actually heard this song on the radio before too, and maybe you even know what it's called. If you do know what it's called, of course, leave a comment, send me a message somewhere, let me know what it is. But for now, that's all for the most mysterious song in Brazil. I think that's what I'm going to title this one. I'm sure someone's going to tell me there's other more mysterious songs in Brazil, but you know, we got, we got to keep some kind of consistency here. But anyway, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out my video about the Italian Ursa Yatsura theme. I'm out.